All right, guys, we're in the Lexus RCF. This is a 2020. One of the things that's always bothered me about the RCF is that you can't fully disable stability control with these buttons in here. So you go to Sport Plus, you turn traction control off. It says stability controls off. You put your torque vectoring differential into expert mode, but still there's intervention at a little bit of lock. So for the track, there is a pedal dance and it's actually the same as it was in my Subaru BRZ. Here's what you have to do. The, at least in the BRZ, it's probably the same for the Lexus RCF, but you have to be up to full operating temperature and you have to do this sequence within 30 seconds of starting the vehicle. So I'll take you through it. Let's make it happen. Starting the vehicle, foot on the brake, letting off. I'm gonna push the handbrake pedal down three times. So one, two, three, and I'm gonna hold it down and press the brake pedal. One, two, three, hold the brake pedal down. Handbrake, one, two, three, down. Foot brake, one, two. That's it, pedal dance. So now we can go into Sport Plus, turn our torque vectoring differential onto track. If I hit a traction control button, nothing's gonna turn off, nothing's gonna turn on. It'll put us into expert mode, um, but we're in pretty good shape. That should do it. Let's see, uh, let's see how it feels out on the track. The RCF is unleashed. No intervention, no surprises. Explore the beautiful balance of this chassis. feels a lot more just predictable, willing to rotate. Again, there's quite a bit of mechanical grip in this thing, especially today where it's so hot. But you want to have some fun in your RCF, you want to put it on snow tires, slide it around a little bit, or have some fun in the wet. It's a quick, easy way to just kind of open up the car's ability to uh, hoon and uh, it's a pretty good chassis too. It is heavy, you do feel the weight, but on track, in my opinion, for my driving and my preferences, this is the way to go because I don't get any surprises this way. I know exactly what the car is gonna do in certain situations and the standard modes are very safe and secure, but definitely not as much fun. Right, guys that's it for this one how to have some more fun in your rcf don't do this unless if you know what you're doing you're comfortable with sliding a car around um, definitely i'm glad that you can do this in the rcf and it's kind of cool that it's a hidden feature uh keeps people safe but also lets those who want to have a little bit of fun unleash uh the car's capabilities a little bit more so definitely a more enjoyable way for me to drive this on track and i'm glad that lexus and toyota are doing it pretty cool all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care